like um, like lightning or something. If you're a lightning rod, you need to be in the ground. Otherwise, you're going to be like, and you're going to like short circuit or something. And short circuiting is basically sounding like a complete and total crazy person. There's a lot of people, myself included, that don't like to ground themselves when they first get into spiritual work. And we sound insane. We sound completely insane. And a lot of you probably think that this sounds insane, but <laughs> you ain't seen nothing compared to some of the stuff I've heard people say or, you know, um, it's it's just stay grounded. It's very important to stay grounded. The, the more grounded you are, the higher you can go. So it's like the deeper your roots, the taller you can go. So just uh, stay grounded. But anyway, so as the bubble with you in it, all your layers of consciousness come up through your legs up through your thighs, your hips, your torso, up through the heart, the shoulders, the neck, and into your head. So now every spiritual piece of you is inside your mind. Your awareness is in your mind and your grounded to the earth and that energy is even in your mind. For me this is a technique that the guides have taught me and I haven't seen it anywhere else is allowing the mind to actually do these readings. Allow the mind to actually imagine these, these things. When people teach kind of psychic work or intuitive work or healing work it's kind of like um, you're expected to be able to see these things but not with your mind, with your third eye or whatever. But this pulling all of your layers of consciousness into your brain is allowing your brain to do some of the work so that you don't feel like you're bad because you're using your mind. So what you're going to do is now that your higher self is in you, your spirit is aligned with it, your soul's consciousness is, is within your body, you're going to... You can say hi to your higher self. See, I just tuned into your energy. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. I just tuned into her energy and she felt it. Okay. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to ask permission of, of your child's higher self. And you're going to basically say, okay, Madison's higher self. Can you show me what is wrong with them right now? Now, you can ask that and you can see what you see. You may see an image of something. You may see, um, you know, someone upset to their stomach, like holding their stomach. You may see um, a movie that you've seen before where maybe somebody got like a, they, they stubbed their toe really bad. Um, so in your mind, all of a sudden you see a movie you're just watching where somebody stubbed their toe. It's like, oh, her toe hurts. Um, you got to let your mind run wild with this, with your imagination, because it's, it's going to grab on to the energies that are coming through from your higher self, from your soul's consciousness, from God, and it's going to interpret them in the way that it knows how, and that's through movies and songs and cartoons and um, other images. And um, that's why if you don't see anything or feel anything or sense anything when you ask that question, um, then what you can do is you can help your higher self out. So what I do is I imagine... I teach and, and I do this a lot when I'm really blocked or if I'm frazzled and she's crying and I'm like, ah, I can't tap into her. I'll actually imagine a Madison doll. So I'm imagining like a mannequin right in front of me. Just literally imagine a mannequin or a doll or something. I imagine that in front of me and I ask the higher self to show me on that doll where she hurts or what's wrong with her. So I'll say, why is she crying? Show me the doll. And this just happened um, an hour ago where she was like crying out of control. And I kept asking, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And I kept seeing over on the left side of her stomach this big black ball of energy. And um, on the doll that was supposed to represent her. And I was like, you know, trying to rub her stomach. And I was like, oh, maybe her diaper was digging into her. And I was like, no, but the dot's up higher. I wonder what it is. Um, well, anyways, after like 10 more minutes of her screaming and crying. I kind of picked her up and did like the skin to skin thing and put her up against me and she literally burped like a dirty old drunk man. Like blah, the loudest like burp ever. Sorry, don't mean to embarrass you Madison. But anyways, uh, she burped super loud and then um, went to the bathroom and she, the dot was then gone. I didn't see the dot anymore. And then she then fell asleep, and which has enabled me to come in here and do this video. 
Um, so anyways, um, what I was probably seeing was either something in her intestines or I was seeing maybe like an air bubble or something like that. So it's not like you're just going to see it and know. You have to learn how to communicate with your higher self and it's like learning a whole new language. So it's like learning sign language or learning how to play charades with your higher self. So don't expect to, you know, have the lights from heaven come shining down through the clouds and have your higher self or their higher self or God reach down and say, hello, the reason why they're crying is because of this. If you do, that's great. <laughs> that's great. And if it's, if it's true and it works, that's awesome. But in most cases, you have to learn how to communicate with your higher self and theirs. So next time I see that dot, I'll know, pick her up, burp her and hold her straight up and kind of like, you know, bounce with her like this and hopefully she'll burp and then she'll feel better. Um, so I didn't know the importance of burping a baby after they eat. I mean, I burped her a little bit, but not a lot. So anyway, um, that's kind of what happened with her. So you can do that. You can imagine a doll or another thing that you can do is you can imagine kind of like a teleprompter in front of you or like a chalkboard or something. And you can ask your higher self to write down a word on the chalkboard to tell you what's wrong with them. And one of the easiest things to do for feelers, people that can see, people that can hear, people that are just knowers with claircognizance, um, one that I found for most of my students it's the easiest is while you're in that state of being connected to your higher self, asking permission to access their higher self, um, you ask to be shown in your own body what's wrong. So um, I could say, okay, Madison's higher self, show me what's wrong with them, and I'm immediately, shoom, drawn down here to the left side of my stomach, like within me. So I'm not relying on my mind to see anything. I'm, I'm relying on my senses to be able to know on my body, um, where on my body um, the disruption is, whether it's within the physical body. Um, as they get older and they start absorbing other people's emotions and feelings, which they don't do yet, and I'll get into that when I talk about their shepherds of light guides and their angels and their higher selves, how they keep their energy protected in the beginning. Um, they can still see stuff, but they don't have really other people's emotions that are stuck to them. But as they get older, or if you start, you know, wanting to be able to read other people, adults and stuff like that, you'll run into, um, you'll ask to be shown on your body what's bothering them. And it may be a cord that's attached to their ex, like I was talking about earlier. It may be, um, you know, a, a spirit attachment or something like that. So working with your baby is super simple. It's like where on their body is the interruption going, going on? Why are they crying? Um, help me sense it. Help me see it. Write it on a chalkboard in front of my imagination and tell me what's wrong. And that's pretty much it. So after you've kind of gone into your mind, aligned with your higher self, your soul, and your spirit, you're basically going to, I always just say, okay, thank you guys. And then I open my eyes. I leave myself aligned with, I leave myself grounded. I leave myself aligned with my higher self and my soul. I mean, I do this every morning. This is kind of like the exercise that I do each morning is I bring my awareness in because it's probably out in the astral plane somewhere where I was dreaming or hanging out with my guides or family members on the other side or whatever. So I'll pull my awareness into my mind. I'll pull in my, pull in my higher self, go up, connect with my soul, pull it down through me, clear my energy, go down to the earth, pick up the earth's energy, and then come back into my mind, and then I'm ready for the day. So um, a lot of people, I used to tell people, connect with your higher self by seeing like a you dropping down into you. If that's easier for you, then that's fine. But since my teachings or the guides, what they've taught me since their teachings have progressed so much, um, and there's all these different layers of higher selves, um, it's easier for me to just kind of see them as little bubbles of light, you know, going up and kind of connecting with all of those things. It should take you no longer than, I mean, five seconds if you want. I mean, it's really like pull my awareness in, go up, connect, bring my higher self in, connect, back down, down to the earth and back up. But I like to also do it as a meditation because it feels good. So if you're trying to do it real quick, you can go up, connect, go back down, come back up here in your mind, you're connected. You can read what's going on in your child's energy. Um, and then very, quickly just come back to awareness here um, without having to worry about when you're tuning into someone else's energy, you're leaving your body, going into their energy. You have to worry about picking up their energy, picking up 
um, their garbage and then coming back into your field and bringing their stuff with with you and with this with connecting just to your higher self and asking your higher self you're getting information on another human being um, without having to leave your body at all so it doesn't take any spiritual abilities or anything like that it's just visualization and it's just connecting with the consciousness that you are so anyways that went a lot longer than expected um, so hopefully YouTube will let me upload it otherwise I'll probably have to do it as a couple different videos but um, please feel free to comment on YouTube or feel free to comment on Facebook where I posted this and let me know if it works for you. Um, I was going to get into healing your baby, um, but I feel like the video is a little too long. So I'll do another video um, after this that basically teaches you how to send healing energy into your child to release blocks and things like that. But that's going to be more for above three years old, above like two or three year old children because that's when they start taking on our emotions. So right now you really are just kind of wanting to know what's wrong with them. You wanna know why they're crying. And um, by going in and connecting with their higher self and asking to be connected into their field to see what's wrong with them, you're connecting in and you're pretty much clearing their energy with your frequency and it's it's, it'll take me a while to explain that too, but just believe me when I say that when you're tuning into their energy to see what's wrong, it's also clearing their energy too um, because it's aligning them with their higher self and their soul, um, their soul's consciousness as well. So anyway, um, I hope that, that you guys found this helpful. I'll probably do like a little audio recording of a meditation technique on how to connect with the higher self and the soul and all of that. And I'm not sure if I can post it, but I'm going to start posting meditations and things like that on my website so that you guys can go and get free meditations and then eventually um, figure out how to do little five dollar meditations or stuff like that but that's still in the works still in the works trying to figure all this stuff out so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, please let me know if it worked let me know if it was total BS let me know if um, you know just let me know good or bad let me know all right see you guys soon bye Thank you.